Mongo pushing is one of the few things that skateboarders universally hate. Opinions might vary when it comes to things like which tricks look the best or which obstacles are the most fun, but the majority of skateboarders agree that no matter what trick you're doing or what it is you're skating, Mongo pushing is pretty much unacceptable. Now a lot of skaters who push Mongo are confused by this and they don't really get why it's such a big deal so I thought it was worth making a video breaking things down to explain why so many skaters don't like Mongo. Let me know what you guys think about the whole thing in the comments, be sure to leave a like on the video, check out my gaming channel linked in the description, and with that said, let's get right into it. So first things first, let's talk about what it means to push Mongo because a lot of people really just don't know. Simply put, Mongo pushing is when someone pushes on a skateboard using their front foot instead of their back foot. So to break it down, there are two stances in skateboarding, goofy and regular. If you're goofy footed, that means you skate with your right foot in the front, and if you're regular footed, that means you skate with your left foot in the front. If a goofy rider pushes Mongo, that means they'd be pushing with their right foot, and if a regular rider pushes Mongo, that means they'd be pushing with their left foot. Ever since skateboarding was created, pushing with your back foot has always been the standard. Of course, from the start, there have always been people who push Mongo, but it's always been a minority and it's become even less popular over time. People didn't necessarily hate on Mongo pushing when skateboarding first started, but once skateboarding began to develop, it didn't take that long for skaters to start to make fun of people who did push Mongo. There's a little bit of debate as to where the term Mongo even came from, but let's just say that none of the origins have a flattering definition. The most common definition I've heard is that it comes from European slang, but it's been around so long that it's kind of hard to track down. Oddly enough, for the longest time, skaters seemed to be okay with people pushing Switch Mongo, even if they didn't like people pushing Mongo in their regular stance. This is probably because skating Switch wasn't even a thing for the longest time, so people were given a pass for not learning how to push with their back foot in both stances. In recent years though, it seems like most pros have stopped pushing Mongo altogether, even when going Switch, and even though it still does happen occasionally, it's pretty rare to see any pro skaters who push using their front foot. Now, a lot of people are probably confused as to why this even matters, especially people who push Mongo themselves, but there actually are some legitimate criticisms of Mongo pushing. One of the biggest reasons why skateboarders don't like Mongo pushing really just comes down to style. A lot of people don't realize how important style is in skateboarding, and whether you like it or not, most skaters agree that pushing Mongo just doesn't look good. Is this a fair decision? Probably not, but that doesn't change the fact that most skaters don't like the way it looks. I mean, most skaters also agree that it doesn't look good when someone flails their arms when they're skating, and instead, it's considered much more stylish when someone keeps their arms down by their side. This might not be fair to people who move their arms a lot, but unfortunately, that's just the standard. The same goes for doing flip tricks that rock it instead of leveling out, or having your toe hang off of the board when you land a trick, or even tic-tacking after you land. So bad. These are all agreed upon things in skateboarding that just don't look good from a style perspective. Not everyone agrees with them, but for the most part, it's widely accepted. Everyone has their own idea of what looks good and what doesn't, but some things are just universally agreed on. Reason number two why a lot of skaters consider Mongo pushing bad is because it's harder to throw down and it takes longer to set up for a trick. If you push normally, then throwing down is a nice smooth transition where your front foot lands towards the front of the board and you can easily transition to pushing right away. If you push Mongo though, then the whole process is much more awkward and you need to do way more adjustments before you're positioned right on the board. The same goes for actually pushing or doing a trick. When you push with your back foot, you can already have your front foot close to the position it needs to be in to do whatever trick you're trying. If you push Mongo though, you first have to put your front foot in the position that it needs to be in, and then you still have to move your back foot to wherever it needs to be on the tail. Essentially, you're adding both a figurative and a literal extra step to the process, which is a big deal in skateboarding since a fraction of a second can determine whether or not you land a trick. In a lot of situations, this extra step doesn't really matter, but if you're skating a spot without a lot of roll up, or if you're trying to do a line, then adding in the extra step can make landing a trick a lot harder. Mongo pushing basically forces you to shuffle your feet around every time you want to do a trick, 
but if you push with your back foot, then you can adjust your feet in a much more fluid and natural motion. Reason number three why mongo pushing is bad is because it makes you a lot less stable when you're pushing. When someone pushes with their back foot, they're able to keep their front foot either in the middle or the front of the board. This makes riding around much more stable since you can turn easier, move your weight easier, and prevent the board from moving in either direction when you go over a bump. If you push Mongo, it can be hard to turn smoothly when you're going fast. Your weight pretty much has to be on the back of the board. And since your foot is so far back, there's a chance the front of the board will bounce in a different direction when you hit a bump. To be fair, if someone's been pushing Mongo for a while, they're probably used to all of this, but that doesn't change the fact that they'd most likely be better off pushing normally. Now, even though there are a lot of downsides to pushing Mongo, there's also some benefits as well. First, pushing Mongo will make it easier for you to learn how to push Switch. This is because if you're used to pushing Mongo and you decide to skate Switch, the foot that you normally push with will now be in the back and you'll likely be more comfortable pushing than someone who doesn't push Mongo. Another benefit is that when you aren't going fast, turning can actually be a lot quicker when you push Mongo because you're able to lift up the nose of the board using your back foot. Of course, it doesn't really work as well if you have a lot of speed, but if you aren't going that fast, then it can actually be easier to turn sharply. Say what you will about pushing Mongo, but it does make certain aspects of skateboarding easier to learn. Speaking of learning, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for people to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. They have classes on a variety of topics ranging from photo and video to art and design and even business and finance. One class that I really like that I think a lot of you would like too is iPhone Filmmaking by Caleb and Niles. Most skateboarders film iPhone edits for Instagram and this class has a ton of useful tips and techniques that show you how to improve your iPhone videos. Since Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can follow wherever your creativity takes you. If you're interested in joining, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now let's get back to the video. So now that we've gone over what pushing Mongo is, why skaters hate it, and even a few benefits of it, the question is, is Mongo pushing bad and should you do it? Well, I think the answer really depends. It's pretty much undeniable that pushing Mongo is worse than pushing regular, purely from a functionality standpoint. Having to throw down weird, shuffle your feet around on the board, and put more effort into turning can make doing tricks or even just riding around a lot harder. With that said, people have their own way of doing things, and if you're okay with having that slight disadvantage, then there's nothing really wrong with doing it. On the other hand, it's well agreed upon that pushing Mongo just doesn't look good from a style perspective, and even if you don't personally agree with it, that still doesn't change the opinion of everyone else. There might be someone out there who likes doing rocket kickflips, and they might think that a rocket kickflip looks way better than some kickflip that's super tweaked. They're definitely entitled to that opinion, but if everyone else says that they like tweaked kickflips more than rocket kickflips, then you can't really argue with the overall consensus, because at the end of the day, it's all subjective. Now, as far as whether or not you should push Mongo, personally, I don't think you should. To me, pushing Mongo makes skating harder, and I just don't think it looks as good. People who push Mongo might say that it feels more comfortable or that it's what they're used to doing, but pushing on a skateboard is just like anything else. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Also, just because something feels more comfortable doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best option. For example, when a lot of people learn how to surf, they naturally go to their knee before standing up. It feels more comfortable and natural, but it's actually a bad habit to have and it can make it a lot harder to catch a wave. Also, most people can make the argument that pushing Switch Mongo feels more natural than pushing Switch regular, but people still learn how to push Switch properly simply because it looks better and makes things easier in the long run. Now, I do want to say that even though in my opinion, I don't think people should push Mongo, I'm not going to try to force anyone not to do it. I look at it as if someone has a weird foot position for a flip trick. I might personally think it looks bad, and in my opinion, it might make the trick harder, but if that's what they want to do, then I'm not going to hate on them because it's all personal preference. At the end of the day, skateboarding is subjective, and what one person likes, another person might not like. 
Even though I make jokes and videos about it sometimes, I don't actually care what anyone else does on their skateboard. And honestly, it shouldn't matter even if I did because everyone is going to have their own opinion. If you like to push Mongo, then by all means go for it because it's really just personal preference. Do a lot of skaters hate it? Yeah, they definitely do. But if you like it, then that's all that really matters. Hopefully this sheds some light on why skaters don't like Mongo pushing, and even though I am biased, I tried to be as objective as possible. There's a lot that can be said about the whole Mongo pushing debate, so if you guys have any thoughts of your own about it, go ahead and share them in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on the video, check out my gaming channel linked in the description, and with that said, thanks for watching.